Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 2 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Apple is currently testing macOS Sequoia 15.2 for developers and public beta users. This will be the next major update for your Mac, expected to be released in December. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 2, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 2 update size is around 3.42 GB for my device. This macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta gives you an early preview of upcoming apps, features, and technologies. Click on Update Now and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 2, and the build number is 24C5073E. Now talking about the new features introduced in this build. Regarding Apple Intelligence, Apple continues to add missing Apple Intelligence features to macOS 15.2 for Macs with M1 chips and newer. Talking about the image playground, like iOS 18.2 and iPadOS 18.2, macOS 15.2 also includes a new Image Playground app. This app lets you create images based on your descriptions, and Apple provides various themes, locations, outfits, etc. for you to choose from. You can upload your own photos or others from your photo album to generate fun images you can use in messages. After updating to macOS 15.2 for the first time, you'll need some time for the AI model to download to your Mac, after which you can use Image Playground offline. Regarding ChatGPT integration, Apple has also started integrating ChatGPT into Apple Intelligence through macOS 15.2, specifically within Siri and writing tools. For Siri, ChatGPT will be used to answer complex questions that Siri cannot handle. Each time, Siri will ask if you want to send the request to ChatGPT, but you can turn this off in System Settings, Apple Intelligence and Siri ChatGPT by toggling off Confirm ChatGPT Requests. If you have a ChatGPT Plus subscription, you can log in with your OpenAI account in System Settings, Apple Intelligence Siri, ChatGPT, to use advanced features without daily limits. Although ChatGPT is free to use in macOS 15.2, it comes with a daily limit. After reaching this limit, you'll continue to have basic ChatGPT access for free. You can also ask Siri to use ChatGPT for queries by typing or saying, ask ChatGPT to do something. Since ChatGPT supports more languages than Siri, you can use your native language after saying, Ask ChatGPT. ChatGPT is also integrated into writing tools, with a new Compose option that allows you to use ChatGPT to draft text based on your description. You can also attach images or documents for ChatGPT to process. Regarding writing tools update, besides ChatGPT, Apple has added a description input field for writing tools, so it's no longer limited to three rewriting styles. Now, you can transform your text into a tone or content of your choice, such as adding more dynamic words or turning an email into a poem. Regarding Find My, macOS 15.2 adds two new options for items in the Find My app, including Show Contact Info to display your contact information, like email or phone number, when someone connects an item with their device. Share Item Location to create a link to the item's location. This link can be shared with others and opened in a browser. The link is valid for one week or until you find your item. Regarding weather in menu bar, you no longer need a third-party app to view the weather in the menu bar, as Apple has integrated this feature into macOS 15.2. Just go to System Settings Control Center, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see the weather option. Click Show in menu bar, and you'll have the weather info in the menu bar. Regarding new AirPlay options, 
When sharing your Mac screen via AirPlay, you now have more options to share your screen with others. These options include entire screen, window or app, and extended display, so you no longer need to share the entire screen as before. Lastly, we have new iMac wallpapers. macOS 15.2 also includes marketing wallpapers for the M4 iMac in seven different colors. You can find them in System Settings Wallpaper and scroll down to the Pictures section. Moving forward and talking about the macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 2 release notes. The macOS 15.2 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.2 Beta 2. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 16.2, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding ActivityKit resolved issues, fixed, resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly if ActivityKit is linked. Regarding authentication services resolved issues, fixed, iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs might quit unexpectedly if AS Authorization Controller Perform Autofill Assisted Requests is invoked. Regarding chat GPT integration known issues, for devices with MDM profiles, users with anonymous restrictions are unable to sign out. Workaround, use the ChatGPT restriction instead of the ChatGPT anonymous only restriction. Image and document Q&A requests to ChatGPT via Siri might fail if the query doesn't specify photo or document. Workaround, with a photo or document on the screen, queries like what can I cook with this or what is the topic in this will fail. However, queries that specify the photo or document reference will succeed, such as what can I cook with the fruit in this photo or what is the topic in this document? Regarding NS Writing Tools Coordinator known issues, the object does not support multiple NS Writing Tools Coordinator context elements and supports only the first element used. NS Writing Tools Coordinator supports synchronous NS Writing Tools Coordinator delegate interfaces, expecting the completion handler to be invoked without escaping the delegate methods. NS Writing Tools Coordinator ignores the returned attributed string from Writing Tools Coordinator, replace range in context, proposed text, reason, animation parameters, completion. Regarding SwiftUI new features, for macOS apps linked against macOS 10.2 SDK, the on-scroll geometry change for of action modifier can be used with list to post geometry changes for the list owned scroll view. Regarding its resolved issues fixed, Compiling in the Swift 6 language mode might cause an at entry error due to static property default value is not concurrency safe because non sendable type. Resolved an issue to improve performance and CPU usage when scrolling scroll views and lists. Regarding virtualization known issues, installation of macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta in VMs is not available. Regarding widget kit, Resolved issues fixed. iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly if Live Activities API in Widget Kit are linked. Regarding Screen Capture Kit new features, Screen Capture Kit is available for Catalyst applications. Developers must use the macOS 15.2 SDK or later. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you want to know more, check out Apple's official documentation for Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 beta release notes. So that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.